Hello everyone, Eddie here. Truck Observer doing the crackback. There's my little island. Done a bit more on it. Thought I'd do a late night record to show you what we got. Now well, I've got to try and crash my little flying jet ski into the ground without killing myself. Which takes some doing. Done a bit of Britannia, as you can see. Done some buildings. I'll run through that with you. I've got the flashing white lights for some reason. I can't quite work out why yet. But I've got to be a bit careful on the keys. And is that going to be a good park? Nearly. Good enough for me. And disassemble. Oh, not good. Don't need a drill. That's pretty good parking. I like that. Yep. Fire protection, haste for the falling, and I'm breaking now. My boots are getting very, very good. As you can see, I can nift around quite quickly. Quick update over here. Fish trap. Well, two fish traps now feed into barrels. And let me move that map out of the way. Because I have to move everything about. And to uh, disassemble the boat, you have to use the one that moves the map to the middle. So it changes the preset. So I have to put that back. Yep, we've got plenty of fish now. Loads of saddles and bame tags. Crazy flashing symbols for some reason. Bits and bobs coming. No end of pearls up yet. Living, living stone growing, a living rock at the moment got growing. I've got living wood I've made from the botanias. I think you'll like how I've done it. I have a mine spreader there, firing up to there, firing up to mine up, and the same over there. And day blooms. Just simple day blooms at the moment, because I'm not in a rush with botania. So that can quite happily go over there. Where's my magic stick of stickiness? There it is. And what's that? About a third of a pot. That's doing well. So I'm quite happy to. Whoa, let's fall off here. Quite happy to leave that chugging away quite nicely. I've got. Oh, I wish I knew what that is. Somewhere over here. Well, it was over there just now. You, you look at something and it just fires up the white flashes. Got my pedestal, my petal apothecary, and my bits and bobs in there. For Brenda. Been crazy with the build again. As you can see, I've done more. I've put vines in. I've built this little doodar over the top to take them up. The R's magic, not the R's magic, the Britannia feeds. And oh, I can't get up there now. Show sure, Bobber, I'll come up here and show you. But all it is is a little ring above the meteor so it can feed into there onto the top. This will be fun. I mean, I just have flashing green lights going off. Done a bit more over here. We've um, cut them to stairs, just turned sideways on the edges to give that little effect. Uh, built out this room a bit, put a little roof on it. Needs more work. Got it in a minute. Oop. Try and get this side done, because it's just bare at the moment. We have finally moved the bed. I've made a little storage area, like a little mini Acropolis. Having seen Lady Ivy using these basic pillars, or these base pillars, I thought, yeah, they look really cool. So I pinched the idea for over here, just to make a little storage room. And these, ever so simple, if I show you, chisel and a torch, you can make these different ones. You can make light bulbs, 
I don't know what candles and all sorts, but I've been using these little black ones, these little raw iron lights because they kind of fit the scene. Uh, yeah, that's a tank full of Ars Magica super juice from one of the ponds. What else has we got going? Um, yeah, I went building again. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a bit of a necropolis. Secret door. Paid a lot of attention to textures in this one this time. It's all cobble. That's both just different chiseled cobbles. And there's cobble as well. So it's all cobble. But it kind of looks really cool. I like it. And I moved my bed, so I got some my safe. Scoot up the top. I have a bit up here. Now, what I'm intending to put in here is either going to be Thorncraft or Ars Magica because it's quite a high ceiling, so there's room for stuff to be doing. And I thought, yeah, that'll make a nice little area. But I have got to finish outside, which I must do. And I must put a brick in there. Have I got a brick on me? Oh, I do. That's where ladders used to be down. And there you go. You can see down through the glass. Don't quite know why I kept glass here. I was hope was originally having the roof open, and these white blocks are just chiselled glowstone. So they look really sweet as part of the support. But they also light up. So I only end up with four torches in here. And it's just to keep this centre bit lit. Because he's a little bit too high. So if I come down. Past the main room. And into. What's going to be the rest of it room. So there's loads of potential space down here. Doing stuff. Which is just the side of the cliff at the moment. So. Easy done. Another secret door takes us outside, and I can scoot across to the back of the island through all the willow trees. Because I wanted some green wood, so willow is the way to go, and it's night time, and my cows is around. But we look at the state of that scoreboard. Oh, I don't know. Death's all over the show. Gillibad turned up yesterday, ran into a nasty witch, got two deaths up for it. Poor old Karna was out exploring, went past one of the Thorncraft altars, and got an Eldritch Guardian. Fired dark light or dark power at him or something, and just took him out. So he got two deaths for that as well. So we have quite a bit of death going on at the moment. There's a tree right in the way. It's going to ruin the view, isn't it? I'm trying to get a view of this tower. There you go. Looks great up there. Looks great coming down there. Need to work on the bottom. It needs something more on the bottom. And you can see why I need to work on that bit there. So I've got to kind of hang off and do that. It's either that or I move the... Um, Enchantment table somewhere else, which I've been thinking about, been toying with that idea, but it's quite nicely set up there at the moment. And it kind of fills that bit, and it takes away from it. Well, it kind of looks like it's been pushed in together, which is what I'm after. I'm after pushed into the mountain, pushed in amongst the buildings, kind of look. Uh, what else is occurring? Well, in my little world, not much. That's pretty much what I am. You see, I've been going around changing torches like mad. Swapping them out. And cooking up some more ingots while I've got the lava. Uh, what's in that one? Junk. 
Anything good in your seat over here somewhere? Is, these... is it these pipes? No. Is it the barrels? No. It's definitely something. Stop. Start. Stop. Start. Is it that? No. I don't know. Something's triggering the flashing. But what can you do? What can you do when you get flashings? That I do like. It just sits there every now and then it fires a pulse up and across. It's the way to do it. And it just clicks my arm while I'm busy doing other stuff. Right, let's see what blocks I've got on me. Loads of them. And some cobble. That will do. Let's have a look, see how far I've got to go down. Oh, I could probably get away with doing this. Doop, doop. Oop, did I want to do that? I think I do. Uh, can I get away with this, he says. Oh, that was a mistake. Mistakes were made. Now, is that gonna. I don't think that's gonna be enough. It's gonna look wrong. I'm quite happy to say that I don't feel comfortable with it. I'm gonna go. Is it with dent? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go right up to that level. Um, that'll be covered there. Do I come to this corner? Which will stand it out on there, which I could work with. I can work with it. I'll have to do that side as well, which I can work with. get away with this we ask ourselves I do believe I can hmm, still need to work on that second because I've got that is the upstairs is where the top of that circle comes in just breaks that but I wanted to keep it intact to give it somewhere to work from if you know what I mean alright let's have a little scoot over here again that looks better still we're doing something down there give ourselves a bit of pillar maybe but it certainly looks more like it comes in together Need something, take that down as supports or something. Build something down there, maybe. That'll be the way. Build something down there. Speaking of down there, 
Let's get down with it down there. Cobblestone tiles. They're the ones. Good shot. I'm practicing that you can tell, can't you? Ugh. Get out wet. <sighs> this episode is going to be one of those episodes. Do I need to go there? No. Oh, barnacles. And yes, I'm using a pickaxe on the sand, but I have a reason. And that reason is it repairs itself. So it's a re self repairing tool. So it's wear and tear on other tools. I've got that 21. That's not going to be enough, I don't think. But we're going to get close. Through the tree. Oh, well, this is what I like about chisels as well. Oh, pick that up. So you've got get behaving. So you've got a load of common bricks you don't want. You can convert them over to the ones you do want. Those ones you may not want, go back over to the ones you do want. And before you know it, we've got rid of all the ones you didn't want and loads of the ones you do want. Boom, boom. Chisel, I really like. I'm going to be having a look at the Z tone soon as well. Because they look fun to work with. Be having a look at them and seeing what they do. Oop. Oop. And let's scoot back a bit and see what that does. Let's find my way through the jungle. That's the problem when you've got, like, heavily grown area. Mm -hmm. Getting around it is a bit of a problem. Bit better. Mm -hmm. Bit better. I'm not 100% sure on it. Let's get down there. But it looks a little mm -hmm. better now as I've got that push out. Might have to do another ring round it, maybe. We'll see. It's worth thinking about. Oh, where am I? I'm over here. Portal's there, so. This side of the island, let's get away from that portal. So, this side of the island, still got loads of room over here to be building and doing stuff on. At the moment, it's just a tree farm for different woods and stuff. Torches I'm using, rubber drops from the rubber trees instead of coal. Much cheaper, much easier to get. Darkwood trees from my blue woods. Willows give me my green. Oh, jeez. Save me doing it. Uh, willows gives me my green, so they give blue green. They give jungle woods. Got some more of the dark wood over here. I've got the spruces. For some reason, people keep planting spruces all over my base. Don't they try? I found you ones. I'll leave ones to mine, but I found you ones you left by me wheat. More spruce, great woods, standard oaks, sakuyas. Are they sakuyas or something? What are they called? Uh, sakura. That's it. Birches, 
and you know, I'm getting there with them all. Find the more trees as I go along. Then, as soon as I start on the witchery, I'm going to dedicate a section of that for the witchery trees as well. Because you've got your birches, not your birches, you've got your larch, the rowan berry, and the alder. Hawthorne, it's Hawthorne, I can't remember now. It's been a while, but you've got those growing, so I'm going to have to make a little area for them. Plus my silverwood tree, which I took down from here, and I've got two saplings. So I need to find something nice for two silverwoods to grow. And I was thinking, maybe there, or maybe over there, and there. I kind of want them to be nearby and hopefully get a biome change on. See, something's happening again. It's weird. Something just triggers that flashing. No idea what. But this definitely gives it a bit more height now. And it gives it a nice iron shape still. Which is kind of my plan. And if I go back to me, motorised pooter, boop, melt shit before I drown. Remember, key's done. You can see that from this side, the island's taken up lovely shape. Don't want to go that way, silly machine. The island's getting a nice shape from over this side. As we come round this way, past the back of the smelter, it kind of falls away and we've got nothing in this little corner. That's kind of like a little dead zone there. So that little pulmonary need something worked on it. Let's try and fly a bit closer now to far out. The tower with its wacky roof. You've got, this is the big area I was talking about, where there's potential to do loads of stuff over here. So I'm going to kind of spread this way from the top. I want to try and make something of that portal and I want to try and make something of that little cove as well can I get my little flying debris to come down in here which will be nice if it does yeah because this little cove if I turn it you'll be able to see it is actually quite sweet. So if I was to make some kind of like harbour there. So I'll have my jetty around the other side. And maybe have a bigger Archimedes ship which doesn't fly. Because flying's a pain in the proverbial for trying to get it to land in the right place. Because it drifts a lot. And down. And I shall park that there this time. And yes, drown again. My little jet ski. I do like that. <laughs> it gets me around quite happily. Um, best way back up. Across the treetops. That's the other thing when you start building like this. You block up your access ways to getting across. Let's get that map out of the way again. So you have to get a bit parkour -y on things. Oh, and I need to eat. Still on the baked potatoes. They're going good. And, oh, flashing soon. I don't know what that is. It might be where I've got recording software running. Because it hasn't done that till now. So I started recording. Still got junk in this side. This side I'm starting to get organised. So you got like your woods, your blocks, 
Um, hostile drops, passive drops, bits and bobs, enchanting books, including my dun 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 silk touch, which I am saving desperately trying to get XP up now so I can put that on. Plenty of bows. Um, some of these tries given me, but I've managed to combine tries one with another one. I had to get Infinity 1 Power 5 on Breaking 3, which is a rather sweet bow, so I'm happy with that. And it was courtesy of Try, he gave me an Infinity 1. So that really helped all my silly fishing rods that I collect, all the fishing lures. Nothing there, and these are still in progress of being sorted, they're still junked up. But it's getting there, that's what I was doing before I started recording. But as you can see, my base is starting to turn into a base. We are starting to get places, we're getting rooms. We're getting places that I'm thinking, right, that'll be for this, that'll be for that. we got, this is the downstairs, but if you were to come down here, say, on a set of stairs, this is the, the down bottom alcove bit. Spins back round to where the. Blimey, that flashing bit. Spins back round to where the smelter is. So. It all ties in really, really well. And I've just got to work out what I want to do here and how I want to do it. Quite tempted to go down this way, if you know, and down these as a stairs, and have something here. Because if you scoot over here, I'm gradually pushing this out further and further. Because you look under it, there's nothing under there. It's just all I've pushed it out, and this bit is all pushed out. Oh, that's me enders. Any of them grind? Yep. Mate. I have said to Mick Loss he can have two of my seeds. So at some point when he pays me a visit he can have a couple of my ender seeds. Um, I'll keep it on me for now. It's got, I've got one the other ones. But this is all built out over nothing. There's nothing underneath this either. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going. Oh, blooming flashing. But yeah, so my island is getting bigger. I don't want it to expand ridiculously. I want it to still be this kind of mini mountain type thing where you've got stairs and buildings and stairs down to something else and stairs this way to something else over there. Or maybe on one of these little one of these little islands. That's me cat going off. On these little islands, that's literally three bits of dirt with a tree on it. On the little islands, they maybe have something over to them, so something can be on them. Plenty of plans, no idea what to do with them yet. Oh, trying to stop that flashing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it there because my next bit of build I think is going to be quite big. Well, the next bit of magic in. Oh, will you stop flashing? Oh, that's just so so annoying, I tell you. I'm not gonna. I was gonna turn into a bat and fly out the gap, but bats kill you. So I'm not gonna turn into a bat. Uh, so I'm gonna call it there, everyone. Find somewhere sweet to stand. That'll do. Have a little bit of a sunset. Turn it off and show you what the island looks like. I like that. It's coming along really, really sweet. So I'm going to call it there, everyone. Have a brilliant day. And I shall catch you next time. Bye.